Today I want to share some easy outfits that always look chic and put together. These are really simple outfit formulas that you can easily mix and match and interchange and then as you style them up different ways they can suit a lot of different activities. These are also particularly great for colder weather. Now before we hop into it though I want to thank Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. We're partnering again to bring you this set of outfits and I'll be styling their things throughout the video. I'm also going to link everything in the description box down below along with information for how you can get an extra 12% off your order using my code COIN12. Everything is so beautiful. I have quite a few pieces, some I've been gifted and some that I've purchased myself and I'm really happy with the quality across the board. And then everything from their gorgeous sweaters like I'm wearing today and then of course their silk make really beautiful gifts as well so it's perfect for this time of the year. So I'm going to link everything in the description box down below along with color information and then of course sizing for reference in case anything suits your fancy or you think would suit someone else for the holiday season. So let's get started. So the first outfit that I want to talk about is a classic cozy sweater and a pair of pants. This is a really great foundation because you can very easily dress it up or down. And then if you choose something in a really classic color, something that's relatively neutral, so in this case I have this beautiful off-white, you can go with navy pants, black pants, you can add green or a great other pop of color, maybe something like a red, you can do something like a gray. The possibilities are really endless and you can play into those colors and really start to build out that part of your personal outfit as it pertains to your color palette for this season. So when it comes to a cozy turtleneck, one of my favorite ways to wear that is with a pair of pants, ankle boots, because I love ankle boots, and then some really great jewelry, and then you can easily add jackets and stuff over top of that. And another thing that's really beautiful about a cashmere turtleneck is that you can go for something light and bright like I've done here, or you can go for a vibrant pop of color. So if you're not feeling too adventurous, you can stick in kind of like the navy realm. That would be really, really gorgeous. And Lily Silk has a gorgeous navy color. Or you can go for something a little bit more vibrant. I have one that I bought myself from them that's a really great kind of like reddish burgundy color. I took that with me when I went to Burgundy and it's perfect for layering and great for this time of the year. It's festive but not obviously festive. It's not bright red and it's something that becomes really versatile as a result. And then from there you can start to play into those colors. So using this really kind of off-white color, it's light and bright and airy. I think it looks really beautiful with black but I've done it again with that navy pant. And by going for navy I can choose a blazer that has some of those colors running throughout and then mimics the color of the sweater in the buttons. And then I can add a hat and then have fun that way and also change out my shoes to play with the different navy coloring. And then I can also change out the blazer for something in the similar color to the turtleneck that keeps it really monochrome, really, really classic, and a really effortless base. It feels very sophisticated. And that against the navy again looks so beautiful. And you could do that with ankle boots or a really great flat and even a heel if you want to dress it up. It's incredibly versatile. Another way I love to style a cashmere turtleneck is with a skirt, and this keeps it feeling a little bit more polished, a little bit more formal, and you can play around with the colors that you choose in order to keep it really subdued, very classic, very timeless, or a little bit more fun, maybe a little bit more eye-catching. So if you want to keep it kind of subdued, going for similar tones is a great way to do that. So since the turtleneck that I'm wearing is this beautiful off-white color, going for a skirt in a similar color but a different texture will give you a lot of visual interest but keep everything really calm and then from there you can add a great camel coat or something in a similar shade and then really build out those brown accessories it keeps everything really soft and very very effortless and then my personal favorite way to wear a turtleneck and a skirt combination is to contrast the colors so going with this off-white turtleneck I would go for black because I love black and white together it's a combination that I feel very comfortable wearing and something that I've been enjoying for many years so I like to incorporate that in my outfits whenever I can. 
And for this outfit, I think going for a shorter skirt and then this oversized vintage blazer really plays up how luxurious the sweater is. It makes the sweater feel almost extra classic in a way. And that juxtaposition is something that I really love. And then you can also swap those colors and go for maybe something in a silk in a beautiful uh, material that's kind of like a midi length would be really gorgeous. I got this one from Lily Silk and I think it's perfect for this type of combination. And since it's a lighter color on the bottom, I would go for a darker turtleneck. And that contrast is amplified not only by the color combination, but also the texture. So since the silk is really beautiful and soft and it's got that nice delicate sheen to it, the turtleneck turtleneck looks extra matte black and all the accessories really pop against it. It's a great way to pick one standout piece and allow it to really shine. Another really great thing about the combination of a cashmere turtleneck and a great pair of pants is that you can play with the textures and you can change up either or both. So if you want to change up your pants, maybe go for something with a pattern, something with a great color, a slightly different texture to it, maybe a little bit heavier in weight, maybe something with some pleats would be beautiful. Or in the case that I've done now, you can change up the texture of the turtleneck. So this one is the exact same color as the one that I just styled, except it has a thicker weave. So it's definitely cozier. It has a little bit more of a relaxed feeling to it overall. It's a little bit longer in the body and it has this beautiful texture on the front of it. And then also it has these beautiful billowy sleeves that cinch perfectly at the wrist. So all of those details together lend to a lot of really great styling possibilities. And then from from there, the turtleneck and the pants can be changed up with heels or even flats. And going for something that's a little bit more like a loafer style makes it feel a little bit more autumn versus going for something in a great printed heel that makes it feel a little bit more holiday ready. So I could do for Thanksgiving or maybe Christmas or a holiday party that you might have coming up. You're going for a color that's a little bit seasonal, but it's not too literal. So that beautiful turtleneck also that I was talking about earlier in that great kind of burgundy color that would be perfect for this. And you could take that and pair it with green and it wouldn't feel too holiday because neither of them are perfectly exactly what we picture when we picture green and uh, red together. And the fact that they're slightly off kilter makes it feel very fresh, but still really festive. And then of course you can always pair a cashmere turtleneck with jeans and it's a really easy way to dress it down but since it is colder i like to dress a little bit more formally anyway in the colder weather i think the season and the temperatures they really call for it and it's a time of the year when you can really lean into that and really layer things up and go for structure so because of that i've chosen darker jeans these are in a really dark black and that up against the off-white is one of my favorite combos and then black accessories make it really perfect and well-rounded and then you can easily start to change out your jackets for totally different effects so a leather jacket feels really different than maybe like a tweed or boucle jacket and you can play with either depending on where you're going and then dress it up or dress it down the next outfit combination that I want to talk about is a silk top and jeans. And since a silk top is inherently a little bit dressy, a little bit formal, very chic and really classic, you can have a lot of fun here. And it's a really great way to dress up your jeans, but then also kind of dress down the silk top. So you can lessen the formality by pairing it with jeans. And you can also go for something that's really traditional, something like a button down in a basic color, something like white or maybe black, maybe an off-white, Navy is really great or you can go over something with a little bit more detail so like the one that I'm wearing right now is a really gorgeous vibrant blue blue color I love this color this time of the year it feels festive enough and also perfectly in line with the weather and then the little details like the puff sleeve the beautiful necktie it's all adding to that kind of elevated feeling and when paired with jeans it's a really beautiful juxtaposition so since it's me i would go for ankle boots i find them comfortable and really really easy it's one of my favorite shoes by far and then a cute little bag and you can easily wear this to like a nice dinner you can wear it out to maybe a holiday party a lot of different variety here and a lot of versatility now you can also go for something like i mentioned in a more subdued color so something like a classic white or an off-white and still with those same detailing, like a tie neck and beautiful billowy sleeves. And again, you're gonna get that kind of dressed up feeling. 
And then a really great way to then match the formality of the silk is to then pair it with pants. So I'm going to share a couple of versions of that now. So going back to the bright blue top, the way that I would style this with pants is to really play into that blue theme. And I would go for navy. By pairing this type of blue with navy, I think both of them really come to life. The navy becomes extra vibrant and then the blue really pops. And they contribute kind of the best qualities of each other to the overall look. So to make it really wearable and down to earth, going for something like a ballet flat, again, playing into that navy theme is absolutely perfect. You could then put any jacket over top, but something again in this similar color, something like a gray would be really gorgeous, or even again, just leaning fully into that navy theme. And then of course you can also forego color completely and go for neutrals and something like black and this gorgeous off-white is a really classic combination and something really really easy to dress up and down. It automatically feels a little bit formal and especially when you choose a top like this one that's this really beautiful light silk. It's got really nice airy details and touches, a delicate little bow, and really beautiful quality details that really set it apart. It becomes such a statement piece and even in a really classic neutral like an off-white those little touches allow it to stand out and not feel like your basic shirt and so what I would do is go for black pants and then either a ballet flat or like a Mary Jane and then you can also change up the hair change up the jewelry and of course change out your bags you can dress it up or down and then wear heels if you want it even it's a really really versatile foundation and something you can change a lot of different ways another thing that I like about starting with a neutral base like this off-white silk shirt and then the black pants is you can very easily start to layer on top of that. You can add a vest like I've done here, you can add sweaters, of course different jackets and outer layers and then have fun with your accessories. And foundational outfits like that are some of my personal favorites because you can rely on them for many many years, not only a lot of different occasions but then also as your style is evolving and changing because as you start to like different things and maybe have different preferences, you can tweak the things that you're pairing the pants and the shirt with to really make it feel the same but different. And then of course you can always pair a silk shirt with a great skirt and specifically something that allows room for ankle boots or really tall boots and then layer on top of that as well and you can create so many different outfits and again use that same shirt in a variety of different ways and the energy behind maybe like a long skirt, a pencil skirt, or like an A-line skirt, maybe something a little bit flared or something pleated. The energy of each of those pieces really changes the shirt and allows you to take one item and create a totally different mood just by swapping the bottoms and then of course the shoes. This next outfit combination that always looks chic and put together is a really classic dress. And there are a couple variations that you can play within if you're working with this. So for the first one that I want to talk about, it's this really beautiful wrap style dress. It's a gorgeous navy color and it's of course in beautiful silk. And that material gives you a lot of flexibility with how you can style it. So you can either go really formal or really casual and contrast the texture of the silk and then of course the overall feeling of it. It has so many beautiful, delicate details that by pairing that with something a little bit more rugged or uh, thicker, something like a chunky belt, maybe a chunkier shoe, definitely going for flats, adding tights, and contrasting the colors, it gives you a really, really fun and easy way to wear the dress during the day. And then if you wanted to, you could make it feel a little bit dressier by adding some heeled boots. Specifically for me, I would play into that contrast again, so I would go for black. Since this is a really obvious blue color, going with a black is a nice way to balance that out. It doesn't feel accidental, but it feels really intentional. And then to top it off, you could either do a jacket or a blazer like I've done here, and adding that structure up top really enhances how flowy and billowy the wrap style is. So it kind of allows that delicacy to come forward again. 
by contrasting it with something more structured, it becomes really obvious and a really beautiful way to balance each of them. So if you didn't want to work with a dress that's on the shorter side like this one, or maybe that's a wrap style or something a little bit more sheeny in the fabric, you could definitely go for something like a shirt dress. And Lily Silk has a really, really beautiful shirt dress in a great khaki color. So if you suit those types of colors and then you want that longer length and something that easily feels casual or dressy, that's a really good option. You can very very easily change out the shoes, accessory, hair, and really have a lot of fun with that as your base. And then of course, because so many of us are currently experiencing colder weather, you can definitely go for something like a cashmere turtleneck dress. These are so easy to wear. They're incredibly cozy and you can again change them out. You can cinch the waist or wear it loose, add a jacket over top, add a blazer over top, put your hair up or wear it down. You can uh, really show off different necklaces and accessories. And then of course, wear maybe tall boots or an ankle boot with a great pair of tights. And then of course a flat. So, so much versatility, a lot of ways to take this concept and adjust it as your kind of activities change, but then most importantly, how your weather changes. So maybe you could start with the silk dress, but then move into the cashmere dress, and that's gonna serve you really well as it starts to be colder. So those are some easy outfits that always look chic and put together. They're things that I personally really love, and having a couple formulations, and then kind of building on those and changing them up a little bit, is a really easy way to get dressed. And if you can pinpoint at least one or two for yourself, you can have a variety of different outfits for really any occasion and take the stress out of having to get dressed, especially during this time of the year when we have a lot of things to do, a lot of parties to go to, and just a lot of things to worry about. You can kind of remove this from one of your things to think about. So like always, I hope that this is helpful. And then also, of course, thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. Like I mentioned, I'm going to put everything in the description box. I'm going to put color information and then sizing information along with my own height and measurements and everything so that you can hopefully make the best decision for yourself or of course a loved one if you're getting a gift. And then also, if you are interested in using my discount code, you can get an extra 12% off and my code is COIN12. So thank you so much, like always. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.